So who is enemy number one for America right now? While China has taken that position for a while, the war in Ukraine seems to have twisted the scales. Now Russia is perhaps the adversary number one for Biden's administration and this is reflected in the fact that the US Secretary of State Antony Blinken has decided to meet his Chinese counterpart but won't be shaking hands with the Russian foreign minister. They are all set to gather under the same roof at the G20 summit in Indonesia. Blinken's meet with Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi comes in the backdrop of the expectation for a new conversation between the US president and the Chinese president in the coming weeks. Remember, China and the US have been at loggerheads for quite some time now owing to multiple reasons. Starting from China's bid to increase its dominance in the Indo-Pacific, to, of course, the tussle over Taiwan, the island region that the U.S. has vowed to support. And China then backing Russia in its war in Ukraine. Various such issues have turned the U.S.-China relations sour. Biden last spoke with Xi by telephone in March to discuss the Ukraine war, with the U.S. condemning Beijing's support for Russia, but seeing little sign of any material support for the invasion. The U.S. and Chinese diplomats last met on the sidelines of a conference in Singapore. The White House has refused to confirm anything ahead of the G20 summit this time around. The Secretary uh, intends to engage fully uh, in the G20. I'm not going to uh, speak to any plans on the part of uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov or any other uh, ministerial level participant, but I can tell you the Secretary will be a full and active participant in the G20, which we see uh, as a valuable forum. Uh, and again, we are committed to the success uh, of this G20 and the success of Indonesia's stewardship of it. Meanwhile, the decision to shun the Russian counterpart at the summit of major global economies is not a surprising move. Ever since Moscow started invading its neighbor, the U.S. has been a strong critique of the Kremlin and has been making efforts to isolate the country with heavy sanctions. Walking a tightrope as a G20 host, Indonesia has not rescinded invitations to Russia, while President Vladimir Putin has said that he will attend the November summit where even Ukrainian President Zelensky is invited. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.